Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video book review on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and our book today is The Textbook of Pistol Technology and Design, Production, Principles, Progress by Peter Dahlhammer, who I believe is now Dr. Peter Dahlhammer, um, has a doctorate in uh, mechanical engineering. He is a gentleman who works for the Walther Company in Germany, and put together what I think is a fascinating book that I've had a lot of people ask me for, but I haven't been aware of a book that really did what this one does. And that, that is, it is, think of it as a college introductory textbook, or maybe intermediate level textbook, on how to make a pistol. Or rather, how to make firearms from a commercial manufacturer's point of view. And this is specifically like a case study involving semi-automatic 9mm handguns. So it's divided into a couple major sections. The first one talks about all of the different manufacturing technologies that are potentially relevant to handguns. So if you've ever wondered what is the difference between forging and sintering and casting and metal injection molding, all of these are described in here. Uh, what are their pros and cons? Why are they used? When are they used? When were they developed? Uh, it's a fantastic and excellent resource for a lot of this sort of information. This is not the kind of stuff that your typical shooter is probably interested in. Um, in fact, there's a comment uh, that the author quotes right at the beginning from someone who says, in effect, I don't care how the little gnomes inside the pistol work, all I care is that the gun works. And if that describes you, this isn't a book for you. But if you want to know exactly what all those little gnomes inside the gun are doing, I think you'll really be interested in this. So like I said, the first section is about manufacturing processes. And that includes how parts are made, it also includes things like uh, how parts are heat treated, what are the different mechanisms for heat treating, what do they do, like again, why is one better than, the, better than another for a given situation. Um, springs, what different types of springs are out there, how long do they work, what's the difference in practical application between say a large diameter spring and a small diameter spring, how do these things apply to handgun design. There's a ton of really good technical information in here. In a few areas he gets into equations and math, and particularly with springs, but this isn't a math book. This is an overview of how handguns are made. So the second section goes into all of the different features that one might have or want in a handgun. Uh, what are the differences between hammer and striker systems? Single action and double action in both hammer fired and striker fired systems. What are the different safeties? How do they apply? How do different uh, different machining techniques impact different design elements in the gun. Um, polymers versus uh, aluminum alloys versus steel alloys. Um, it's, well, it really covers pretty much the whole history of handgun development. It, there is a bit of a Germanic focus. Dahlhammer is German. Most of the examples he comes up with are German, but that doesn't mean they're wrong or bad examples. Uh, the third section is all about legality, and this is specifically focused on a pistol made for the American market, because the American commercial market is the by far the biggest market for 9mm handguns in the world. So what's involved at a federal level, uh, what's involved at different state levels, for some of the folks here in the US that's probably less interesting because it's probably stuff that you're already fairly aware of. And if you're just interested in the mechanics of how guns work and how they're made, you know, that's a little less relevant to you. Um, then the fourth section is basically a case study, or rather nine case studies, of different pistols that fit this general criteria, this general type that the book is about. So modern 9 millimeter service pistols. Uh, well, semi-auto pistols, because the the guns that he looks at in depth are uh, things like the Glock, um, but also some smaller guns. So the the uh, what is it? The uh, Caltech P9 uh, or PM9 is in there. The Ruger LCP is in there, uh, as well as half a dozen or so large large frame pistols. Overall, I think Dahlheimer does a pretty darn good job of balancing the complexities and the detail that he goes into. For a book like this you don't want to make it too simple. Uh, you want to explain basic concepts, especially when there are subtle important elements to what seem like basic concepts. But you don't want to dumb it down too much, and he doesn't. At the same time you don't want to make it you know, whole chapters of calculus, which he also doesn't. So this will go into details like 
spring rates, different spring manufacturing techniques or spring design techniques, uh, slide velocity as a, a very important element in calculating how well a pistol is going to work and how long it's going to last. Uh, but you don't get too deep into the weeds. So this is definitely not a book for your typical shooter or collector, but it is a fantastic book for anyone who's wondered what actually goes into the manufacture of a gun, especially as a very practical matter in, in today's world. Not just, I want to go in my garage and I want to you know, hand, hand make one pistol. There's, there's a lot of information in here that would be relevant to that. But this is more geared towards, I want to start a company and I want to produce this as a product and what's going to be involved. It doesn't have all the answers, but it is by far the most comprehensive and best book tackling that subject that I've yet seen. So uh, the book is uh, printed in Germany. It's available in both German and English. I'll have a link in the description text below to the publisher's website, which is probably the best place to order it if you're in Europe or if you want the German edition. Um, I'll also have a link to it on Amazon. As of this recording, it's 100 bucks on Amazon. It's 80 euro in Europe, presumably plus shipping. So not the cheapest book, but I don't know of a, a good counterpart to it that offers the same sort of thing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.